Okay, this is one of the uh, table legs. It, you know, it will fit on the end of the table right here. Here's what I want to show you. We, uh, we drew out this center hole. This is where a bearing will go in. The lead screw is going to go through it. What are you doing? The, um, the uh, bearing, if, if this hole is drilled straight through, it would just fall through the hole. So you can see inside there, there's a shoulder. Now how we, the plans call for a one and one eighth inch larger hole. Here's the Forstner bit we used to do that. We used a drill press right here, but if you don't have that, you can do it by hand. Just be very careful, make sure it's very, uh, make sure it's vertical centered. We went down the depth of, of the bearing. You can make that mark on the side if you want. Now the plans also call for an inner uh, diameter of one inch. And that's fine. Um, let me see if I have the test piece. I don't. Um, when we we did the a test piece and the the inner sh lip or the shoulder right here, it was um, <coughs> it was sufficient. The bearing would not fall through. But um, we decided to go instead with a slightly smaller Forstner bit. What size was this? Seven eighths. Seven eighths. And what that did was it gave us a larger. It, uh, a smaller inner circle, but a larger shoulder, as you can see. It just gives the um, the bearing more support. Here's the test. Let me see if I can get this for you. And it only has an eighth inch shoulder. See the eight in, eighth inch shoulder? It's it's not much. It's enough. It'll support the bearing. But notice the size difference between this, which was our test, and this. It's just an option for you if you have the the different size Forstner bits. You can go with a smaller one. The only thing you got to do is you just can't go smaller than the inner diameter of that bearing. And here is the, you'll do two of these and they'll attach to the ends of the table.